Hey guys, we're back with a full review of the Hi-Fi Rose RS-201E Integrated Amp and Network Streamer. Now, if you haven't seen our full overview of the Hi-Fi Rose design and features, be sure to check out the brand overview link below to discover why we were completely blown away by the design and audio quality when we first experienced the RS-201E at Expona this year. Now, let's not waste any time and let's get started. Hi-Fi Rose has a pretty cool backstory. Its parent company called SciTech was founded in 1954 where they first started making set-top boxes for television sets in Korea. Eventually, they started specializing in touch interface software for consumer-facing internet kiosk, and this easy-to-use tech found its way into this network and integrated amplifier in this review. Interestingly, one of the executives at SciTech was also an audiophile, so he created a division within the company dedicated to audio. So in 2017, the idea that started from a passion for premium components, ideal circuitry, and beautiful hardware with the best user experience available became a reality and the Hi-Fi Rose line that we have here today was born. In our Hi-Fi Rose overview, we covered the design philosophy behind this new brand and the user experience, but for this review, we will tell you more about the RS-201E hardware and explain its features. Since a streaming DAC frequently accesses very large libraries of music from a network attached storage device or a NAS or even the internet, the user interface is important. Its parent company designs touch interface software and assembles all of its internet kiosk products in-house, so Hi-Fi Rose really does have the resources of a larger tech company. Internally, there are a powerful multi-core ARM 64-bit processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM running a custom Hi-Fi Rose version of the Android operating system. So the systems are completely updatable as Hi-Fi Rose is constantly adding new features to them. Now, what's really interesting to think about is how internet kiosks are actually designed. For one, internet kiosks are used in high traffic public places such as airports. Therefore, their software has to be user-friendly and easy to understand. And lastly, they're always connected to the internet, so they need to have custom hardware that is physically robust and software that is reliable and easy to update. The hardware and software benefits make a lot of sense for high-end audio network players, and I can see all of these design elements trickle down here into the RS-201E. For the hardware, the RS-201E is the entry point model in the Hi-Fi Rose lineup that starts you out with a pretty generous 8.8 inch touch capacity display that will show high definition album cover info and video playback at 60 frames per second. Now, this one is both a network media player and an integrated two channel amplifier for connecting up a pair of passive speakers at 50 watts per channel into four ohms, all rolled into one single versatile component. The front top plate features high quality anodized aluminum, a volume knob with a joystick style control, a power button, and a very wide view touchscreen for a nice modern look and feel. The body of the unit spans just about 11 inches wide, 8 inches across, and stands about 3 inches tall. Now, the RS-201E uses an external switching power supply rather than a linear power supply built in like the upper-end models, but unlike the more expensive media players in the lineup, the RS-201E has Class D amplification built in, like I said earlier. On the back of the unit, there are two pairs of speaker terminals which support 4 ohm passive speakers. The RS-201E's amplification fire section has a maximum output of 50 watts per channel or 100 watts of total power, which is enough power to enhance your TV watching or two-channel music. 100 watts will also drive most passive speakers with reasonable impedances and sensitivities. The RS-201E can also be used as a pure DAC streamer with a fixed level analog output, so you can connect it up with a separate integrated amp a preamp or a powered soundbar. Should you need more power, a pair of unbalanced stereo RCA sockets labeled preamp output will let you use the RS-201E as just a music streamer with a separate vacuum tube amp or a reference grade amplifier, such as the Hi-Fi Rose RA-180 integrated amp. Now for the digital section, the RS-201E has a built-in high-performance ES9018 K2M 32-bit DAC that does support most of the popular high-res audio formats up to 384 kilohertz. 
Now, if you already have an external DAC that you like using, you can bypass the built-in DAC using the USB 2 audio output. So if you have a collection of high-res music and 4K video stored on an external hard drive, the USB 3 Type-A DAC input or the SD card reader will let you experience all of it right from the 8.8 inch front panel display. You can even install an internal SSD in an under chassis bay, connecting the audio coming from external AV sources such as a CD player, DVD player, or Blu-ray player to your TV is done through the RS-201E's optical Toslink input or the other pair of unbalanced stereo RCA sockets labeled line input. Finally, there's an optical output for connecting the RS-201E to a soundbar and one HDMI 2 port that will let you send audio and 4K video coming from the RS-201E to a TV or a projector. As an integrated amp, streamer, DAC, preamp, and Rune endpoint, the RS-201E is designed to enhance TV watching and two-channel music listening. There's also a headphone jack on the front panel that will accept a three and a half millimeter stereo mini plug connection with plenty of expansion options. This is the model that will be best suited for a media room, a bonus room, or even the living room as an all-in-one streaming multimedia unit. Now we tested the RS-201E in a medium-sized living room with a pair of Sonus Faber Lumina 2 bookshelf passive speakers which need about 50 to 75 watts per channel to really get them going in an average size room. So the RS-201E provided plenty of power. Now when we powered the RS-201E for the very first time, we were immediately greeted with a horizontal stream of familiar icons on the display. These icons are for apps like music, video, Kobuz, Tidal, Clock, Settings, in out settings, plus some others that are less obvious, such as one called Bugs, Rose FM, Rose Podcast, Rose Radio, Rose Store, Rose 2. There's one called CD Play and also one called CD Ripping. Tapping the settings icon allows you to make adjustments to the display brightness, the format of the clock display, the appearance of VU meters that can also appear when music is playing, and rearrange the order of the apps. You also have the ability to add or remove apps from the main menu so you can keep the ones you use and just sort them just like an iPad or a tablet. There's also a built-in Rose App Store where you can update the apps to the latest versions. There's also a really cool custom app called RoseTube that I mentioned earlier that will let you swipe through a curated list of YouTube videos with the highest resolution and audio stream available plus all of the advertising removed. There's a ton of classical performances in this app, and I have to say we really enjoy the selections. You can also search and watch any video that is available on YouTube with this feature. Hi-Fi Rose DAC streamers are really high-end two-channel audio devices that happen to have 4K video capability. So fans of titles, exclusive video content will probably love this feature. There's also an in-out setting icon that will let you choose things like setting digital or analog external inputs to internal, setting up where they default, and then choosing a digital or analog output. It's super cool. One thing I have to mention though is how easy Hi-Fi Rose's companion app made it for multiple people to sign into their music streaming accounts like Tidal or Kobas. In the Hi-Fi Rose Connect app, all I had to do was just sign into my Kobas account on my phone even while someone else was already signed into theirs and already controlling the unit. This made it Super simple for guests to stream their own music to the system whenever they came over. No one had to just sign in and out of anything. They just downloaded the Rose Connect app on their phone, opened it, and then they connected their phone to the same Wi-Fi network as the streamer, follow the on-screen prompts in the app, and away they go. From there, they can sign right into their own streaming service and then tap on the RS-201E they want to control when prompted in the app. It was really that easy. We streamed all kinds of music, including funk, rock, classical, EDM, and jazz, and everything sounded really good. I would have to say the RS-201E's sound profile was transparent. The RS-201E presented sound that was clear, resolute, and transparent, which made everything from audio coming from 4K YouTube videos to high-res versions of Top 40 music sound really good. I did keep coming back to a high-res version of Tom York's title track, The Eraser, off the 2006 debut solo album. 
On a really good pair of speakers like the Lumina 2 Passives, Tom York's vocal almost floated outside the speakers right in front of us. The detail was also very impressive. I could actually pick out more voices in the background vocals than without the DAC streamer. I would say if you're looking for more audiophile level resolution, then you should consider stepping up to either the RS-250 or the RS-150B, but if you want a sleek, easy to use network streamer with an integrated amp, then we highly recommend that you check out the RS-201E. Bass was tight, punchy, resolute, and it also had a very clear mid-range with an impressive depth of detail in the stereo image. With it being rune-ready, plus support for Bluetooth, AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, and Television Connectivity on board, this really has everything needed to be an all-in-one box for streaming high-res music and 4K video playback. Now as the entry point model in the Hi-Fi Rose line, the RS-201E delivers a lot of value with plenty of options to expand it. This is the model to get for anyone wanting a network media player and an integrated two-channel amplifier all rolled into one easy to use component that also looks super cool with that 8.8 inch front panel touch display. For anyone with a collection of high-res music and 4K video files stored on an external hard drive or an SD card, this one delivers a really convenient solution to experience it all without breaking the bank. I also like that you can pair this with the Hi-Fi Rose RSA 780 CD drive and rip a CD collection right to the unit. Now the upper end models will deliver even better performance for those who really care about having the best musical sound quality possible. But as a multimedia all-in-one unit for rooms where space is limited, Hi-Fi Rose RS-201E packs in most of the key features all of the models share with good sound and video, and this one offers one of the best user interfaces we've ever seen from a DAC streamer at this price point. All right, that wraps up our take on the RS-201E. Now, as a tech company made by audiophiles for audiophiles, Hi-Fi Rose products are focused on making premium components with custom build qualities that go well beyond traditional methods. I hope this quick review has given you some insight about this cool little integrated amp and network streamer and why we are so impressed with Hi-Fi Rose in general. To learn more about Hi-Fi Rose network streamers, integrated amps, and their CD drive, be sure to check out those individual reviews. And if you're thinking about updating your media room or even your home audio setup, just be sure to check out audiovice.com where you'll find more reviews just like this one, prog comparisons, and you can also browse our inspiration gallery and how-to videos. We also offer free shipping, a price guarantee, and lifetime support on any products you purchase from audiovice.com. If you have any questions or want more info, be sure to give us a call, chat with us, or just stop into one of our award-winning showrooms and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest home audio and home theater content. And we'll see you next time.